Yes, where to now? My name is Kelly McWilliams and I'm a social worker in the field of child protection social work at Child and Family Services in Charlottetown and I've been there approximately eight years. I was inspired to enter the field of child protection as a teenager. Uh, I was fortunate to have been raised within a solid family environment and early on had a recognition that not everybody was as fortunate and um, entering the field of social work was my way of trying to give back and help others try to experience the same positive family environment that I had. I have a bachelor's degree of social work from St. Thomas University and prior to studying for my social work degree I studied for a Bachelor of Arts degree in psychology at St. Thomas University as well. A day in the life of a child protection social worker can be very unpredictable. Sometimes you'll come in and you'll have your schedule all set but there will be reports come in that a child is in a situation of imminent risk that you're out the door and running to assess that situation and ensure that the child is safe. Um, you're responding to reports of um, children being at, at risk and assessing those reports. You may be collaborating with um, schools or professionals in other areas such as justice or mental health in helping families and children. You could be doing home visits to check in with families you're working with. You could be attending daycares or schools to check in with children. Um, any number of different things that can be very unpredictable and exciting. <laughs> in the area of child protection social work, um, the first area of entry into child protection service is the investigation team. And that is the team that conducts the initial investigations and assessments of um, reports of children being at risk in the community. From there, there are focused intervention teams that work with families over a longer period of time on case plans to resolve um, concerns of a child protection nature. And another area of child protection is what's called resource, and that's a team that works with foster parents to recruit and retain and train and support them in caring for children in the care of the director of child protection, as well as doing um, adoption assessments and, and placements. Wow. Social work is a profession that's primarily em about empowering individuals and families to reach their potential and be the best they can be and child protection social work specifically is about ensuring that children are safe and first and foremost safe within their family environment and it's I think when you're going into a family's home it's always a pleasure to to be a part of their family and to empower them to be a stronger family unit and keep their children safe. One of the biggest challenges of child protection social work is that Child protection services are not, are not always voluntary services and sometimes you're required to be involved with a family that doesn't necessarily want you involved and measures need to be taken to ensure that you are there involved with the family to ensure the child's safety. The things I like the best about child protection social work are it's very fast paced, it's unpredictable, you're always on your toes never knowing what is going to be coming at you next, as well as just being a part of the lives of children and their families and helping them be stronger, and through that building a stronger community. How about the yellow one goes to play basketball. Minimum educational requirement for entering the field of social work is a Bachelor of Social Work degree that could be obtained at St. Thomas University in Fredericton, Dalhousie University in Halifax, or Memorial University in Newfoundland. Some advice I would have for anyone considering a career in child protection social work would be to give your local child protection office a call and talk directly to any of the social workers there. We'd be happy at any time to talk to anyone considering entering the field. As well, get involved in your community. Do volunteer work wherever they accept volunteers to get further insight and experience into, into the field and the social issues that you would encounter as a child protection social worker. And as well, if you're going off to university, any education or courses around psychology or sociology would also be very complementary to the practice of social work.